आफ्टरनून टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स ऑफ अन अकेडमी लॉ बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का ऑन आर अप्रैल 27 सेवन न्यूज पेपर एनालिसिस वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू योर वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन चैनल फॉर ऑल योर लॉ एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन नाउ बिफोर वी बिगिन आई हैव वन इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट वन बिग न्यूज हैज कम आउट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर लॉ एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन फॉर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज द सी यू ई टी आप में से जिन सब स्टूडेंट्स ने सी यू ई टी एग्जामिनेशन के लिए रजिस्टर किया है उन सब के लिए ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट है द सी यू ई टी पोर्टल हैज अलाउड और अपलोडेड मॉक टेस्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू मतलब अब आप अपने एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन सी यू ई टी एग्जामिनेशन के मॉक टेस्ट उनकी वेबसाइट पर एक्सेस कर सकते हैं दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर आइंग लॉ एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन थ्रू सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज आप सबके लिए ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है क्यों है क्योंकि इससे आपको डायरेक्ट आइडिया मिलेगा कि एग्जाम में पूछा क्या जाने वाला है ओके अनदर थिंग दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट ऑल ऑफ यू शुड एंश्योर कि आप इसको एक्सेस जरूर कर रहे ऑल ऑफ यू आर एक्सेसिंग दीज मॉक टेस्ट एटलीस्ट वंस एक बार अपने डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट को जरूर देखिए दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट I will also be hosting a special YouTube video for all of you. On this, I will be putting out questions. What has been uploaded in the mock test? We will be discussing it. So the notification for it will be available on my Telegram channel. मैं उसका link भी आप लोगों को जल्दी provide करूँगा. But in the other news, very warm welcome. आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है. अगर आप मुझे सबसे पहली बार देख रहे हैं, तो I am Kushagra Goyal, a graduate from National University, Masters in Economics. I have assisted students to achieve AIR 4, AIR 16. and if you are someone who is looking for revision you should check out my revision series on our academy's channel plus aap mujhe reach out kar sakte hain mere telegram channel par that is kushagra goel the legal game underscore anacad ya aap hamari classes ke notes access kar sakte hain through bit.ly/kusagknotes ya anacademy ki community tab ke through on that point we will also be resuming our daily current affair quiz series एडिशन नंबर 44 आज दोपहर में एक बज के दस मिनट पर वेर वी आस्क आई आस्क यू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द क्लैट एंड एलेट पैटर्न फॉर योर डेली करंट अफेयर जो भी करंट अफेयर में हुआ है उस सबको वी डिस्कस दैर सो भूलिएगा मत द लिंक टू इट इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन मेरे टेलीग्राम चैनल की पिंट पोस्ट पर भी इसका लिंक प्रोवाइडेड है मैं वापस से एक बजे इसका लिंक शेयर भी करूंगा सो मेक श्योर अगर आपको अपना स्किल्स टेस्ट करना है सो यू डू दैट वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम एंड लास्टली एनी क्वेरीज अबाउट एनी थिंग अगर आपको जानना है तो आप मुझे सिर्फ कॉल कर सकते हैं सेवन एट टू फाइव एट सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो सिक्स पर प्लस आई हैव अनादर बिग अनाउंसमेंट कि ऑन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी नाइन आई विल बी पार्ट ऑफ अ जनरल नॉलेज मैराथन फ्रॉम अन अकेडमी एट वन पी एम एंड फोर पी एम आई विल बी कंडक्टिंग टू सेशन ऑन द जी के सेक्शन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इन द एग्जामिनेशन बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रिपरेशन जितनी भी रिक्वायरमेंट है फॉर करंट अफेयर वी विल बी डूइंग दो सेशन एट वन पी एम एंड फोर पी एम ऑन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी नाइन मतलब फ्राइडे को सो अपना फ्राइडे जरूर फ्री रखिए ये जो टाइमिंग है क्लास का ये चेंज नहीं होगा सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर अवेलेबल यू आर टेस्टिंग योर सेल्फ यू कैन ऑल्सो बी पार्ट ऑफ अदर सेशन ऑन जी के बाय दिव्या एंड पूजा पूजा मैम यू कैन द टाइमिंग आर ऑन योर स्क्रीन so let's begin our newspaper analysis until then very very good afternoon to everyone hi everyone who has tuned in live hi anshika hi suraj hi akanksha astha shaili janvi uh, faisal rehman nandini hi shivi hello hi janvi tuba nikhil dheeraj hi dia is this a free class yes this marathon session from an academy will be a free class these are all free classes aap sab inko attend kar sakte hain the link of it will be in the description of this video very very uh, warm welcome to rishab tanu and aniket questions june ka uh, clat ka admit card kab tak aayega at least 2 weeks pehle examination se ek hafte se 10 din pehle ke beech mein so you can always watch out the second last week prior to your examination is when the एडमिट कार्ड कम्स आउट ओके वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून श्रुति सो शुरू करते हैं हमारा आज का सेशन सबसे पहले देर इज न्यूज अबाउट मोर कोविड वैक्सीन कोविड वैक्सीन इज वन थिंग दैट कैन डेफिनेटली बी पार्ट ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन सो मोर कोविड जैब्स फॉर चिल्ड्रेन गेट नॉट कोर्बोवैक्स एंड कोवैक्सीन क्लियर फॉर एमरजेंसी यूज सो भारत की एजेंसी दैट अप्रूव न्यू मेडिसिन फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस हैज अप्रूव मेडिसिन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन दैट इज the drug controller general of india dcgi they have approved two 
कोरोना वायरस वैक्सीन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन बिटवीन फाइव टू ट्वेल्व पाँच से बारह साल की उम्र के बच्चों के लिए सेम वैक्सीन दैट इज कोर्बोवैक्स एंड कोवैक्सीन कोवैक्सीन एडल्ट को भी दी जा रही है दैट वैक्सीन हैज नाउ बीन अप्रूव फॉर चिल्ड्रेन बिलो द एज ऑफ बिटवीन द एज ऑफ फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वन विच वैक्सीन हैज बीन अप्रूव फॉर विच सेगमेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके उसके बाद देन द अदर न्यूज इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्ट against communal hate anyone trying to incite or create division in the society the state has been ordered to take preventive measures corrective preventive measures lene ko bola gaya hai by the supreme court that any incident of communal tensions someone trying to instigate communal tension so preventive measures advance notices preventive measures have been asked this is ab ye jo order hai court ka How does this this feature into the court's mandate? Okay, so इसके लिए दो articles हैं. सबसे पहली बात, it is article number one forty two of the court. Okay, okay under article 142 supreme court has the right to do absolute justice jitna bhi requirement hai court can do all of that the second thing that the supreme court can under article 32 is continuing mandamus कंटिन्यूइंग मैंडामस के अंदर कोर्ट कैन मॉनिटर डिफरेंट सेगमेंट ओके अब जैसे ये केस है राइट कम्युनल टेंशन क्या कम्युनल टेंशन का इवेंट आज हो रहा है या कल हुआ था अब प्रिवेंटिव फ्यूचर में कौन सा इवेंट कब होगा उसको कोर्ट कैसे मॉनिटर करेगी सो उस चीजों के लिए द ऑर्डर इज अंडर कंटिन्यूइंग मैंडामस दैट यू कैन टेक एडवांस नोटिस कोर्ट इज ऑब्जर्विंग और कोर्ट इज सेंग सो इसके लिए दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट अंडर द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ राइट टू डू एब्सोल्यूट जस्टिस कहीं पर भी किसी के साथ कुछ भी बुरा हो कोर्ट कैन टेक नोट एंड द सेकेंड इज आर्टिकल थर्टी टू ऑफ कंटिन्यूइंग मैंडामस मैंडामस इज अ रिट इसके अंदर वी कमांड दैट यू शुड बी डूइंग दिस और यू शुड बी डूइंग दैट मैंडामस मीन्स वी कमांड ओके सो इसके अंदर कोर्ट क्या कर रही है कंटिन्यूस कमांड दे रही है ठीक है कि देर हैज टू बी अ नॉन स्टॉप steps that have to be taken in this regard theek okay? hai then we move on isse aage badhte hue apart from this the news on the small side on the right hand side okay is look beyond ukraine crisis addressing the annual raisena dialogue our external affairs minister has stated hum iske bare mein we will be talking about in, on the other national news so this is another important news jiske bare mein hum discussion karenge all right so let's move on on the other news sabse pehle application form date of clat is ending on may so aap logo ke liye bahut hi important hai ki may ke mahine mein this will end the applications are open right now so you should apply at the earliest jaldi se jaldi you should apply theek hai covid mein kuch samajhna nahi hai all you have to do is note down the vaccines corbovax in that news covid फाइव टू ट्वेल्व के लिए कोवैक्सीन एंड कोर्बोवैक्स ठीक है कोवैक्सीन इज बाय भारत बायोटेक एंड कोर्बोवैक्स इज बाय बायोलॉजिकल ई okay all right then we move on to two more comments 
you are from delhi which examination should you give you should give both clat and alit definitely clat and alit then we move on national news nothing of note for us here kuch kaam ka nahi hai ye sab hamare liye then we come the prime minister virtually inaugurated the 90th anniversary celebration of sivagiri pilgrimage okay now sivagiri pilgrimage ke upar the prime minister is talking about the indianness as the only caste okay what is important for us 90th anniversary of sivagiri pilgrimage that's all that we have to note down okay who inaugurated the sivagiri pilgrimage on the 90th time the prime minister the current indian prime minister prime minister narendra modi okay that's all then we move on to more political news nothing of note for us here none of these are important ye sab politics ki news ab hame aur bhi kam important hai then we come to the main one macron's re-election of victory with challenges this is an important one hamare liye okay ab iske andar sabse pehle aapko ye note karna hai for the first time after 2002 France has re-elected a president. Okay, the last time it happened was Jacques Chirac in 2002 that a president was re-elected. Okay, Francis Mitterrand in 1988 and Jacques Chirac in 2002 was the last time a French president was re-elected. Now, Emmanuel Macron has won the second term. Okay, he has won the second term. Now his victory. Apart from this is important for French politics की क्या क्या important है ये सब वो सब कि this is right wing, left wing, Europe, all of this is not relevant for us. हमारे लिए the name is important and what is important is this term, okay? Laicite, okay? It is the French version of secularism. सो सेक्युलरिज्म इज नोन और सर्वधर्म सद्भावना एज वी कॉल इट इन इंडिया या अलग अलग नामों से इसको जाना जाता है इन दिस रिगार्ड द फ्रेंच कॉन्सेप्ट ओके द फ्रेंच कॉन्सेप्ट इज लाइसिटी ओके वॉट इज इट and apart from this आखिरी बार जब ये हुआ था वेन अ फ्रेंच प्रेसिडेंट वॉज री इलेक्टेड ओके अ रनिंग इनकम्बेंट प्रेसिडेंट वॉज री इलेक्टेड दिस वॉज द नेम ऑल राइट ये हमारे काम का है ना अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस द अदर एनालिसिस ऑफ इट इज द फ्रेंच सिस्टम ओके द फ्रेंच सिस्टम ऑफ इलेक्शन ना फ्रांस में क्या होता है दो स्टेज का इलेक्शन होता है वन where people are generally voting for whosoever wants to run and then there are the top two candidates and people have to vote among them okay so in that regard france ke andar is baar there was emmanuel macron and marine le pen right apart from this information the other thing that you also need to know is gilets jaunes yellow west protests okay these were protests that had happened in fra against the government becoming more and more pro rich aisa this was the argument that the government was becoming more and more pro rich so this was in counter to that regard now emmanuel macron is also seen as a more centrist candidate a more eu supporter 
he has favored tough sanctions on Russia. That's all. That is the position of Emmanuel Macron. From India's perspective, also, it is seen as a good result because he has enhanced the relationship between India and France over the years. So that is why it was seen that he would be a beneficial candidate for India's diplomatic relationship. Okay. Then we come on the left hand side, buying free speech. What has happened? Twitter, a US company, a US publicly traded company has been purchased by Elon Musk, the current CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. He has purchased Twitter for 44 billion US dollars. He will be personally now he has made that he will be talking about free speech. He, he will make platform Twitter as a platform for free speech. Okay. Now, what is the free speech ka kya concept? Hai? Our concept of free speech is Article 19. Article 19 kya kata hai? Freedom to freedom of expression. Now, freedom of expression, FOE, has a caveat which is known as reasonable restrictions. Under reasonable restrictions, let's say, for example, I have to criticize adobe for example jaise hi in adobe if you use the eraser button all the dots go away so now i have to criticize adobe for it can i abuse personal remarks at the ceo of adobe will that be a reasonable thing can i abuse the family members of adobe or the software creators of adobe no because that would be a violation of reasonable restrictions of article 19 bharat ke andar in India, our free speech is not absolute but regulated. Ye baat yaad hai. This is to be noted down. In India, speech is absolute but regulated. Kisi ke paas bhi kuch bhi bolne ka adhikar nahi hai. Okay? This is the importance that is in India, that speech is not absolute but regulated. So you can, you can criticize someone, but you cannot criticize them in a way that is demeaning, in a way that is harmful, in a way that is distressing for the family members. Is tarike se you cannot criticize someone. This is the key that is there in India's overall freedom of speech and expression ka idea. This is important. Ye baat this is what the editorial is saying. Ki free speech ke baare mein bolna is asaan, but in the sphere of technology where we have these companies, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, what you have to have is non-biased ensuring that there is moderation of the platform. That the platform does not become a sphere of abuse by its users. Ki if someone is more powerful, they or their followers are, are not abusing, targeting other individuals, and especially why this is the case because Twitter as a platform has a wider outreach. It can set discourse in different different news outlets. We discuss what was trending on Twitter, how as part of protest people plan hashtags which are tagged to create a sense of awareness about what is happening. So in the generation of social media, Twitter now under Elon Musk has to be a platform to continue moderation and not become a key of abuse by them. Okay, so this is what the editorial is talking about. Then we have more questions from your side. Can I show the previous slide? Yes. Yeah, you can write it down about the French president if someone has missed it out. Okay. Then I had submitted the CLAT form, but Jamia exam is in Delhi on 18 June and the CLAT is in 19 June in Mumbai. Can I make changes in CLAT center now? I don't think so, but it depends. You can try. You can write it to the CLAT body asking them for a request, but I don't think amendment of application is allowed. Application form date for year 2023 will be out at least six months prior to the examination. Okay, the notification will be out in four or five months prior to the examination. All right, let's move on then. In the other news, myopic view. Sportsperson should not be penalized for actions of their political leader. Now, for example, I am teaching you. This is a profession. I am assisting you in something. I have different political leaders in my country. Can I 
if whatever I do in my profession, can it change the way they make decisions? Can whatever I am saying here, can that influence the decision making of the government? No. The government has been elected, they have a majority, they are governed by their own concerns, right? This is the theme that this editorial is trying to strike. That see, sports persons, for example, let's say we have different IPL teams who are playing. Can they influence the politics of their country, what decisions the government takes? Sri Lankan cricketers are playing in IPL. Can they ensure that the government there starts taking care of the poor, spends more properly to avoid future debt or EMI misses that they have? No, right? So that is exactly what this editorial is saying. Why? Because Wimbledon has banned Russian and Belarusian players from competing in it. So in this case, these players are supposed to ensure that Vladimir Putin corrects his or his policies in Ukraine and only then they can participate. So this has been criticized by world bodies. It is also talking about how tennis as a sport is very individualistic in its sense, okay? There are multiple tennis players in the country. They are preparing on their own. They participate in these tournaments based on their individual ranking. Aisa nahi hota hai ki someone from USA will get a direct entry and someone from, let's say, Australia will not. Okay, aisa nahi hoga. If an Australian player has better ranking, they will qualify and the US one will not. So that is exactly if the nature of the sport is individual, how can the country's identity become an important thing? For example, Sanya Mirza had teamed up with a Chinese player. She has also teamed up with players from other nationalities. Does that take away from how she was as a player? No. You participate in tournaments on an individual level. Tennis is that sport, so this is what it is talking about. Hamare liye ye important hai ki which tournament has recently banned Russian and Belarusian players, Wimbledon, okay? Then we move on on the right hand side. Mission Antodia should not fall by the wayside. This is a government pol social sector policy that is Mission Antodia. Uske liye the editorial is saying that the scheme is important for two different articles of the Panchayati Raj system, which is Article 243G and W. Okay, that is economic development and social justice. Ab ye scheme unke liye hai, usko improve karne ke suggestions. So this is a policy article, not important for us. We can skip it apart from the article itself. All right. Then we come to the second editor, written by former Prime Minister of Australia, Tony Abbott, India as a democratic superpower. So how many Indians, 130 crore people reside in India, right? And the number, the total population of USA, which is the oldest democracy, and all the other democracies of Europe combined is less than the population of India, which is why it can be called that India can be a democratic bulwark. What differentiates between India and China? Both have large population, both have upcoming economies, is that India is a democracy, right? For years, India has countered different countries on the ground of democracy, that the principle of rights, and the principle that we are at the center of people, that the policy is always centered around the benefit of the people, that is what India has stood for. Okay, so this editorial is saying that India stands out as a democratic superpower and its bulwark is behind that. So, your geostrategic position, hai, it is to counter China's BRI Belt and Road Initiative, how Chinese globalization idea is about Chinese domination and not the welfare of the world at large. Secondly, it is to counter Russia's strategy, Russia's growing influence, uh, Russia's moves over Ukraine. So this is in regard to that. Hamariliye, this the only thing that is important from this is the center vision of India in countering Chinese-centric globalization policy of <coughs> in relation to Belt and Road Initiative. For example, India has consistently oppose the Chinese, China, Pakistan economic corridor, the other debt funding or debt funded, or you can say debt trap diplomacy of China. Okay, now debt trap diplomacy, kya hoti hai? Agar main aapko, let's say I give you a 100 rupee loan. I know that you will not be able to pay me 100 rupee, whereas I am also charging a 10% interest on it. 
ठीक है पर डे के हिसाब से मुझे पता है आप इतना रिटर्न नहीं कर पाओगे तो यू विल कॉन्स्टेंटली गेट इन टू अइकल ऑफ डेट विद मी आप हमेशा मेरे अंडर डेट में ही रहोगे दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट चाइनीज डेट ट्रैप डिप्लोमेसी इज एंड विच इंडिया हैज कंटिन्यूसली कॉल्ड आउट एट द वर्ल्ड फोरम ओके दिस इज ऑल द एडिटोरियल इज अबाउट All of this is also part of Western countries trying to woo India into taking a stand against Russia. Okay, ये सब उस बारे में भी है. Then we come on the right hand side, a splintered nerve center. These are about 80 command centers that have been established under central schemes. A uh, smart city mission. इसके अंदर there will be one centers area which will collect a lot of data. What will what will these centers be doing? Integrated command and control centers. They will be like first is bandwidth second sensors and edge devices third is analytics softwares fourth is data storage and fifth is system of system this is about creating cities over the idea of internet of things ye idea singapore se borrow kiya gaya which is a city state jahan pe ek urban body is also regulating the overarching sphere of regulation governance ke upar kaam karne ke liye this is one that is talking about then we move on to text and context india's designation by us cirf what is us cirf jaise hamare yahan different different parliamentary committees hoti hai theek hai us ke andar bhi there are different parliamentary commissions so united states commission on international religious freedom is has suggested india to be placed under country of particular concern ab this is about the rising number of religious टेंशन दैट आर हैपनिंग इन इंडिया ओवरऑल वायलेंस दैट इज हैपनिंग उसके ऊपर है कि इंडिया को डेजिग्नेट करना चाहिए क्या इससे यूएस की पॉलिसीज और इंडिया के रिलेशनशिप पर फर्क पड़ता है नहीं ओके सो दिस इज बट इट कैन ऑल्सो लीड टू इंटरनेशनल क्रिटिसिजम और इन्वेस्टमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज पर डैमेज कॉज कर सकता है बट हमारे लिए सिर्फ और सिर्फ इसका फुल फॉर्म नोट करना जरूरी है यूनाइटेड नेशन कमीशन ऑन इंटरनेशनल रिलीजियस फ्रीडम ओके इंडिया टू बी डेजिग्नेटेड एज कंट्री ऑफ कंसर्न then for free speech through paid subscriptions elon musk twitter take over ek is saal ke end tak the regulatory approvals will be granted for elon musk to make a privately owned a publicly owned company to a private entity usse fayda kya hone wala hai ya what will it going to lead obviously it will boost up the overall value of elon musk as an individual he may become more rich than he already is but What is going? How is it going to change Twitter? This editorial is discussing that. हमारे लिए ये काम का नहीं है. Okay. What will happen to Twitter? How it will change? What is the share price? Not relevant for us. हमारे लिए सिर्फ ये बात जानना जरूरी है. किसने खरीदा है? Elon Musk has purchased Twitter. That's all. Okay. Then we move on to the Yellow West protest. So United Colors of the Yellow West. What were these protests about? उनके ऊपर ये editorial है. Will we get a editorial on the domestic politics of France? Very unlikely. So हमारे लिए ये भी काम का नहीं है. Okay, you can skip this. As we get closer to the examination, I will suggest you less and less time with extra information. Okay, जहाँ पे भी जो भी direct काम का नहीं है, we will avoid that. Okay. प्लेस ऑफ कंसर्न से कुछ नहीं होता है बेसिकली इट्स अ डेजिग्नेशन कि यहाँ पे ऐसा हो रहा है दैट्स ऑल नथिंग ऑफ रेलिवेंस फॉर इट ओके देन वी हैव देर विल बी नो विनर इन यूक्रेन वॉर जयशंकर रिमाइंड द वेस्ट दैट देर आर इक्वली सीरियस चैलेंजेस इन द इंडो पेसिफिक रीजन रायसेना डायलॉग इज द प्लेस वेर इंडिया होस्ट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एम्बेसडर्स टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड सिक्योरिटी के लिए बात करने के लिए इंडिया स्पीक्स देर देन इन दैट रिगार्ड वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज द डिफरेंट वॉट हाउ इंडिया व्यूज डिफरेंट एरियाज और वॉट इज इंडिया सिक्योरिटी व्यू इन डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट सो दिस इज वॉट वॉज डिस्क्राइब एट द रायसेना डायलॉग आर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर वॉज टॉकिंग दैट सी Ukraine is a crisis that is happening in West, but there are similar concerns in Afghanistan. Okay, why didn't you speak for that? Are you talking about it regularly? There are similar concerns about it in Taiwan. There are similar concerns about it in Myanmar. Have you taken serious steps about it? Have you considered it equally? No. So each country speaks about their own self-interest, their own security threats, and that is how they talk about. So. do not try to tutor us what should we be doing okay then we move on 
the Supreme Court will be listing two very important petitions. Okay, one is about the sedition law. Okay, the sedition law ke upar Chief Justice N. V. Ramana has multiple times to spoke out against it. Ki do we need a sedition law? What is the need of our section? 124A of the IPC. Sedition is under section 124A of the IPC. It stays anti-government policies. Okay, so there is a threat that sedition law is always used to curb free speech. Article 19 ko curb karne ke liye use kiya jata hai isko. So this is the threat that is being talked about here. Okay. Then the other thing that we have to talk about is the hijab plea. So we had discussed the Karnataka court just, uh, judgment here. Okay. In that regard, <coughs> this judgment has now been come um, under an appeal of the Supreme Court. Okay. So the court will be hearing it in two days. That's the news that we have. Then one of the questions that has been put up, Sir Emmanuel Macron's party name, it is La Republique en Marche. One thing I'll highlight here, Emmanuel Macron's political party is his political party name, okay? Then, all right. Uske baad, then we move on. More national news, political news, Congress party, nothing of note for us, different political parties engaged, uh, different areas. Then we come here, okay? Central government has paired with Netflix to highlight two-minute feature films, okay? Azadi Ki Amrit Kanyaay will be a short series of celebration of different women participation in the freedom struggle, okay? So this event, which streaming agency will be producing them? Netflix, along with central government. Under what? Azadi Ki Amrit Kanyaay. So these are the three things, for example, one of the short film will be on environmentalist Basanti Devi. It will also be about the first women to summit Mount Everest twice in five days for India's first woman firefighter Harsini Kankekar. So it will be talking about different other individual women who have highlighted the struggle of women and achieved greatness in life. So Indian government will be covering them along with Netflix. So the streaming company that you have to be aware of is Netflix. Okay. All right. Then we move on to more international news. U.S. hosts weapons summit as Moscow warns of world war. Things are looking very dark in Europe. Okay. The war is intensifying at certain areas in Ukraine. And here is Antonio Guterres meeting Sergei Lavrov, the French foreign minister, whereas the US has talked about how it wants to assist Ukraine win the war against Russia. The last time US suggested some certain things had escalated the tensions. The last time this happened was also in the links of the unfolding of World War II. It started with a conflict in one country and then kept on increasing at different, different levels. Okay. So this is, there is now a real risk of this happening as more and more Western countries, Germany and US are now going to supply Ukraine with more heavy weapons. A demand of Volodymyr Zelensky that had been pending for eight weeks will now be approved. So there is a real risk of escalation. We must also remember that if too many weapon losses are happening, Russia may be forced to use its nuclear weapons. That risk has not abated. Okay, Need Russian nuclear unit is on high alert. So there is a risk of war escalating. But the other big news is countries will have to justify veto votes at UN. Reform prompted by Ukraine invasion. Now what will happen? 
any of the five permanent members of Security Council, okay, they vote a veto at the UN, they will have to justify it in the UN General Assembly. Her veto ke 10 din ke andar andar, there will be a session in the UN General Assembly. The move mandates that General Assembly to convene within 10 days after a veto. Her bar ek veto use hoga. Then there will be a General Assembly session where the country will have to justify why <coughs> they use the veto power. What is veto? Veto stands for negative vote. Veto ka kya matlab hota hai? It is a negative vote. Is negative vote ka kya matlab hota hai? Let's say in security council there are 15 members. So in a vote there are 14 yes and one veto. What will happen to the resolution? It will be defeated. If any of the five members, that is UK, fr France, China, US and Russia, if any of these five countries use a veto, usse kya hota hai? the entire resolution is defeated. So to avoid this from now happening or at least create more awareness and more political pressure on countries, every time there will be a session now onwards, a veto is used. Har bar you will have to justify it to the world. Why did you use the veto? Okay. All right. Is there any chance of passage from Afghanistan crisis? Definitely yes. Then your questions, there is a lag. Can you all hear me properly? Viewers, all of you. All right. So as we move on, on the business news, CBDT aims to lift tax GDP ratio to 15 to 20 percent from the current 20 percent. What is this about? This is about the total GDP ka size kitna hai tax ke ratio mein. CBD. So the total overall tax to GDP ratio. Jaise your GK section vis-a-vis -vis CLAT is like 25, uh, 35 is to 150. That is the ratio of questions that is asked. So this is the one that is using in relation to tax to GDP. That's all that is there. Then India, China at coal plants as global capacity addition dips. Overall, the world is moving away from coal. India and China are the only one adding more coal production. Everybody else is reducing it. Okay. Then we have more news. Nothing of note. IPL news. Nothing of note. Then we come to this news. Djokovic will be allowed to defend Wimbledon title. So Australian Open. Yeah, the first Grand Slam of the year, Novak Djokovic was not allowed to compete. Now he will be able to compete and defend his Wimbledon title. He was the winner last year and now he will be able to defend the title this year despite not being vaccinated against COVID-19. You do not need a vaccine to enter UK. So this is the one in which he can now finally defend. All right. Wimbledon is bhi news in news. All right. With that regard, with this we end the overall newspaper analysis for the day. Now, before I leave you all once again and we talk about what all to note, I want to request all of you, if you have analysis, if you are someone who has liked the analysis till now, do give this video a thumbs up. Your likes, aapka is video ko like karna goes a long way in us providing you with this content free of cost. This content is very important to keep it free to keep it free to keep it free to keep likes and subscribe and share. Se. That is very very important. So with this we move on. First thing to note down. Okay, Azadi Ki Amrit Kanyaay plus Netflix which will be partnering to create this. Okay, then number two things we have discussed. First is COVID vaccines, Supreme Court's continuing mandamus, right to absolute justice. Okay.
ओके सी यू सेट की एग्जाम एटीन एंड नाइनटीन जून को हो गई है क्या आई है आई विल कन्फर्म एंड लेट यू ऑल नो ओके विद दिस दीज आर द फोर मेन थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू नोट डाउन इन टूडेज न्यूज पेपर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वी हैड ऑल्सो कवर्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कवरिंग द सिवागिरी पिलग्रमेज इनाग्रेशन विच इज द नाइनटी एथ एनिवर्सरी एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो स्पोकन अबाउट द रिस्क ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री दैट इज हाइटनिंग इन यूरोप ओके विद दिस वी कंक्लूड नाउ देर आर टू न्यू बैचेस कमिंग अप वन फॉर क्लैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एस्पिरेंस वेर आई विल बी टेकिंग अ मास्टर क्लास ऑन जी के हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट दिस विल हैपन फ्रॉम अप्रिल ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑनवर्ड्स एंड देर इज अ बैच स्कोर बूस्टर अ लास्ट माइल बैच फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू विच विल बिगिन फ्रॉम अप्रिल ट्वेंटी नाइन दिस विल बी इन इंग्लिश इंग्लिश इन हिंदी विच विल कवर कोर्स फॉर ऑल क्लैट एस्पिरेंस ये क्रैश कोर्स बैच है नाउ वाई एम आई टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज बिकॉज फ्रॉम अप्रिल ट्वेंटी फाइव टू अप्रिल ट्वेंटी एट you all can avail 20% off on your iconic subscriptions where if you use the code kusgk you will be able to save almost 6500 rupees on your current subscription price similarly students can also save a similar amount on your plus subscriptions at this moment so make sure ki agar aap apni preparation an academy se karna chahte hain hum mujhse padhna chahte hain to make sure ki you take your subscriptions at the earliest and why you should take your iconic subscriptions over plus ones because in iconic you get live one on one mentorship live doubt solving and priority in classes this is very very essential for your preparation in iconic so make sure you use the code kushgk to avail a 20% discount right now on your subscriptions ideally aapko long term subscriptions lene chahiye for your preparation especially for 2023 aspirants You can also visit us physically on our store in Jaipur. And for any other query, आप मुझे कॉल कर सकते हैं सेवन एट टू फाइव एट सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो सिक्स और इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर मॉक टेस्ट यू कैन टेक अन अकेडमीज लाइट सब्सक्रिप्शन वेर यू गेट एक्सेस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉक टेस्ट फ्रॉम आर साइड एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो विन कैश प्राइजेज अप टू वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इन योर मॉक टेस्ट लास्टली अगर आप मुझसे कनेक्ट करना चाहते हैं और हमारे आज के न्यूज़ पेपर के नोट्स विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन दीज टू लिंक्स प्लस आप मुझे अपने किसी भी और डाउट के लिए टेलीग्राम चैनल पर भी अप्रोच कर सकते हैं ऑन दैट नोट थैंक यू सो मच अभी से 20 मिनट में वी विल बी मीटिंग फॉर आर डेली करंट अफेयर क्विज दिस विल बी नंबर 44 द लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन एवरीवन सो यूज द कोड के यू एस एस जी के यहाँ पर हम करंट अफेयर के क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे ऑल ऑफ वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रेपरेशन सो मेक श्योर आप वन टेन पर इसके लिए जरूर अपियर हो लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई विल बी शेयरिंग इट इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ऑल्सो दिस विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्पेशल क्लास आप अपना हाथ खड़ा करके मुझसे क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं बाकी नोटिफिकेशन भी रिसीव कर सकते हैं और नोट्स को इमीडिएटली एक्सेस कर सकते हैं सो ऑन दैट नोट थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा है तो प्लीज गिव इट अ थम्स अप एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब टू इट सो लाइक और शेयर करना मत भूलिएगा तब तक कल फिर से सेम समय पर मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए अपना ध्यान रखिए टेक केयर एवरी वन एंड ऑल द